you may be missing out on your new favorite trail meal. Hey yo, Jeff Corso, Outdoor Eats. I am hiking right around Mount Rainier today. Feels good to get back in the mountains, but there are a bunch of videos and recipes deep in the archive that are begging for you to watch them. Things like wonton dumpling bowl, five minute marineras, chicken chili verde, Frito pie, and more. So what we're to do today is dig into the archives and have some clips from some great old past recipes and videos. But, uh, you know, forgive me, some of these are from really, really early on and I didn't know what I was doing. But enjoy the deep dive into the archive. Our first one here is a camping mule. So we've got powdered ginger, sugar packets, a little bit of booze, and a couple lime wedges. Muddle that up with a stick and you got a camping mule. Mm, awesome. It'd be really good with a snowball ice cube if you can get that. Don't have those in Joshua Tree today. Second, we've got Happy Pelican. Yeah, you're going to be happy when you're going to drink this. So we've got lime, a little bit of orange, a little bit of coconut milk powder, a can of pineapple juice. Yeah, you can pack that along. And a little bit of dried mango for a dirt bag garnish. is amazingly good for being a dirt bag beverage. Mm. There you have it. Two of the first dirt bag beverages. Follow along because I'll be making more as I'm traveling around the United States testing recipes in pretty pretty places. And no, I am not drinking by myself in the rocks at Joshua Tree. Just uh yeah just uh you know drinking with the Joshua trees. Not drinking by myself. And for our Frito pie we're basically just making chili. But a quick, dirty version of it. We'll go ahead and throw a little bit of water in here. Sometimes these chimney style burners have a tendency to scorch. So what I try to do is make sure that you're cooking, cooking with moist ingredients to be able to help out with that. So you're not scorching at the bottom. Go ahead and throw a little bit of tomato paste in there too. Maybe just a tablespoon or two. I'm just cooking for myself today so I don't need too much. Go ahead and check the recipe if you're looking to scale this up. We've got our water, our chili powder, our tomato paste, our beans, and our field roast fake meat. You can either chop this up or to keep it a little bit cleaner, I'm just gonna go ahead and mash it in the pot here. And another thing you can add to this, if you have it handy, maybe a little bit of beer. A little bit for me. Oh. Yeah, that's a good choice. I haven't added any salt yet because there's gonna be quite a bit of salt in our Fritos. So we want to have it a little bit wet because throw a couple cups of Fritos in there. I want that to get mashed up a little bit and hydrate. That's a nice grated cheese or some cheese chunks. Get that in there. And we've got Frito pie in about 10 minutes right by Diablo Lake in the North Cascades of Washington. Let's get cooking. So first step is to chop garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and use fresh garlic today and we're gonna get our burner going. So this is gonna go fast. It's five minute marinara, so let's go. Oil. And we're gonna go ahead, give that a quick stir, and we're gonna start with our tomato paste option. Starting to burn a little bit, I gotta get going. That garlic and chili smells amazing. And I'm cooking on a log, it's awesome. Always make sure to pack that out. We cook this for just a minute, stirring constantly because it's hot and it wants to burn. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our water. All right, and then you're gonna cook this for about one or two minutes. Let's cook for just a few minutes and we're done. So you can put this on any pasta, put some vegetables, put some uh, protein in there, but this is a really great base for uh, a great meal. Mm, awesome. Five minute marinara round two. We're gonna make our five minute marinara with our fresh baby tomatoes. And you might be thinking, Chef Corso, you are crazy. This is gonna burst all over my bag and I'm gonna have tomatoey socks. I will say, I've done this multiple times. If you pack it in here or even in a, in a Ziploc bag, these are gonna hold up pretty darn well over multiple days. Oil. Always make sure to pack this out. I'm gonna go ahead and use garlic powder for this one. My oregano. And my chili flake. Tomatoes are already bursted and we don't want our herbs to burn, so we're gonna go ahead and add some water. These have been cooking for less than five minutes and look at that. They've been able to break down fresh baby tomatoes, turn into fresh marinara sauce in less than five minutes. Again, a really great base for any pasta dish, any vegetable dish, any great dish on the trail. Oh. Who would have thought you could have fresh tomato sauce on a log in the woods. Blood orange. Well, wow. Wow, that has a really interesting different twang to it. Um, a little rich. Um, not like a normal orange at all. If you haven't had one of those, try that or try some blood orange juice. That's super cool. Satsuma, one of my favorites. If you notice here, we aren't including the cutie. I know the cuties are available nationwide, but a satsuma is so much better than a cutie. It's a different variety of mandarin, but easier peeling, better flavor, no seeds, and just so delicious. Yep, man, so good. One of my absolute favorites. Try those if you can. All right, and to the last one, the Kishu. Wow, so cute. Look at that little fella. Actually pretty easy peeling too. Oh my gosh, look at those little cute segments. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Aww. Oh my gosh. I just feel cute eating them. Interesting, they're very, it's kind of like a mix of the Sumo, the Fremont, and the Set Sumo. But just the fact that it's so damn small and so damn cute, I love it. So, give these a try, but also when you're out there and you want to elevate your brunch or elevate your breakfast, is make a dirt bag mimosa. So I've got a can of bubbles here, or you can do a small little bottle. Bring that with you. You know, sometimes you guys bring beer on your trip or one beer for the top of the top of the mountain, but what about a, a nice little spritz? And we're gonna do a couple squeezes. Of citrus for our dirt bag mimosa, because why not? I mean, that just sounds amazing. So uh, get out there, boca boca. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, easy road trip breakfast.
So our vegetables are just about there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some little holes for our nest. right in those holes. We've been cooking for, oh, maybe five, seven, ten minutes. And based on how you like your eggs, you can cook it a little bit longer if you like them over hard. These are gonna be a nice, Nice over easy, over medium. But those are looking really nice. Last little step I'll do, you don't have to do this, but if you happen to have a lemon, lemon hanging around, then give it a nice squeeze of fresh lemon juice. It's gonna go really well with the kale and really well with the garlic. extra special ingredient I have packed today. Is a beer. And I'm sure St. Pauli would be more than happy to help with our recipe today. You can add a little bit of water too here, but I've got the luxury of packing in a beer today. And yeah, a little mix. Cold beer in the snow really hits the spot. And the rice is hydrated nicely. The last few things we're gonna add to this is some nice freshness. Some fresh cilantro. This will last for multiple days in your pack and then a squeeze of fresh lime. Goes a long way. And a lime doesn't take up a whole lot of room in your pack. And when you're done with this, make sure to pack it out or you could throw it in your water for a little bit of a flavor difference. And then you can go ahead and just add it to your tortillas to finish it off. Make little tacos and make little burritos. Let's get cooking. So now that we're getting up to a nice little simmer, we're gonna go ahead and just rip the bread in here. And for types of bread, I would suggest like a nice ciabatta, a French bread, something a little bit sturdier, not just a, a sandwich slice, because that's gonna break apart pretty quick, but something that's a little bit older works great. And doesn't really matter, just a nice rip in there. This is a great recipe you can make on day two or three of your trip, because your bread's probably dead anyway. But you can bring it back to life with making a soup. Yeah. Italian bread soup in less than five, 10 minutes. Pretty quick. Pretty quick.
Our eggs are done. Nice and scrambled. The last little step we're gonna do is to give it a nice squeeze of lemon. It's gonna go really well with that spinach and that salmon. While we were cooking, I went ahead and set up our sandwiches here. So this is kind of the fancy version. The other way you could do this is take this and go ahead and crumble it all in here and just do a mishmash. And then put that on your bread. Both ways are great. And in order to finish this off, go ahead and put our nice mixture on our toasted bread. Again, toast your bread. Toast is not bread and bread is not toast. They're both very different things and toast is delicious. Oh, look at that beautiful color too. And then we'll give it a nice little hat on it. So there you have it. A great way to start your day. Great way to elevate your breakfast and a great way to get some really nice clean calories in order to fuel your trek. Okay, so first step is to chop all the uh, ingredients. So we have our chicken meatballs, we have our ginger, garlic, and half of the green onions already chopped right in there. So we are cooking and we are gonna add our sauce mixture. But we are boiling, so it's time to add our wonton skins. So while this was boiling, I pulled apart layers of our wonton wrappers. If they stick together, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, but there's actually quite a few in here. And uh, then I ripped them apart in kind of some floppy, floppy pieces. And then we're just going to go ahead and add these. All right, we have been cooking for just a few minutes. And our wonton wrappers are nice and soft looking really nice. While this was cooking, I cut up a few green onions, be able to garnish that on top. And if you want a little bit more spice, yeah, go ahead and add some uh, sriracha. Uh, 